Gerald Green, his head is even with or slightly above the rim. Green the finish! Wow, the alley -oop. His breakaway dunking like we saw with Paul George. And here he goes! Here we go. PG! There's dunk contest dunking. Who knows how tall he is? I read somewhere it says 5'5". Five, five. Why is the Clippers get the ball? Ranger for three. He came to the NBA fresh out of high school. He destroyed his second backboard of the season. This time it didn't bring it all down, but the rim popped out and landed on the floor. He dunked with a ferocity never seen before, and he combined his awesome power with a colorful personality. And this man has no conscience. You will bow down before me! draft pick and a former MVP, but have we seen the last of Derrick Rose? Derrick Rose's game was predicated on athleticism. Oh, I'll tell you what, you saw Mr. Evans right there. He did not want to get over there and try to challenge. Year after year after year in Chicago, where he's like the guy who's supposed to return them to glory, like Michael Jordan. The defense. Lead pass. Whoa! Did you not get the memo? Derrick Rose can go upstairs. There was brilliance that we were deprived of seeing with Derrick Rose. He hit a jet. Did you see how he just exploded on that? And then the explosion to the rim. He was the guy everyone used to love to love. And he has a tremendous ball handling, so he can get anywhere on the floor at any time. Derrick Rose probably means more to his city than any other player means to their city. Oh, stop it. I want to go higher. MVP of this league, and then you have an injury. Gerald Dawkins is the father of Power Duncan. I'm just one of his sons. Probably his best son. Nine. Here's Shaq. The is so powerful on that move. Throughout his career, Shaq has been one of the game's true showmen. It wasn't pretty. No. But it was unstoppable. He just overpowers him, and he comes down, and then he shoves him right there. It was the most dominating force in the history of basketball. the shot clock that's a violation that's a 24 second <laughs> clock violation oh and look at him look back at morning Portland have three timeouts left the Lakers have two Play it. And now there's a shot to Shaquille O'Neal makes it a six point difference with 41 and 3 tenths seconds left. Eight. A player who has made an immediate slam dunk impact as a rookie already considered among the elite. Out of the University of Houston, where he belonged to a fraternity called Phi Slamma Jamma. Phi Slamma Jamma. A face 
Mitchell served up by Clyde Drexler and the foul committed by Bill Conrad. He was a first round draft pick for the Portland Trailblazers. Drexler! He's oh like my. a bird flying through there. You believe how far out he took off? The glide. Oh my, what a sensational move. You look at the career of Sean Kemp. Seven. Original uh, lobster. Lead pass to Kemp. team owns the franchise record for wins and they've clinched the best record in the east he's still only 18 years and eight months old can he live up to all the hype no one can live up to this type of hype he's gonna win five or six championships you know it was always the they call it the dark side or the villain whatever they call it i mean it was, it was definitely challenging On the internet, a lot of people discuss Jordan and LeBron. It's getting closer by the year. I can let the world know what I do all along. I've been chasing this guy in Chicago who's been retired for over a decade. LeBron James, to me, is easily a top five player of all time. He can never play basketball again. He's one of the three greatest players ever. Does he want to be better than Michael Jordan? Yes. More has been expected of him since 18 years old than any other single athlete. This is unbelievable. This is Jordan S. Five. Remember when he first came in, he said he wanted to be better than Michael Jordan. different from everyone else. Yeah, he had an aura about him that I've never seen in an 18-year-old. The aura was kind of like, either this kid's really cocky or he he believes in him. Boom, perfect timing. Trips to the weight room and the off season. I think that 
that's what the fans came to see. And you talk about elevation. You had Mr. Brute Force and Shaq, and you had that aerial artistry of the younger Kobe. Back to Kobe! I was on the team with Steve Nash mm -hmm. when he won back-to-back. -back. Got it. Got it. Got it. The best player in the league was Kobe Bryant. He's drawn by the power of the sky. Double punch the reverse. <laughs> Pop off, Cobra. Pop it a little bit. <laughs> I think the adrenaline is flowing in here. Pop it. Pop it. Right to a I'm gonna go with the guy that made it cool for all the guys that you mentioned, Dr. J. Worthy against Malone. Pass a deflected, gonna be stolen, I think, by the doctor. See this guy, I can see him in slow motion going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. There wasn't anything like this, and if you loved basketball, you had to love this. About to bear witness to one of the most spectacular events in professional basketball, the slam dunk contest. Dr. J measured off from the foul line, then went back to midcourt. I didn't know what he was going to do, to be honest with you. Dr. J, because he did that first from the free throw line. Jay was the grandfather of us all, so I always right. give him his okay. respect. One, two, three, ah, ah, ah. You're the greatest in-game dunk I've ever seen in person. I think you shot it from the foul line. Other side of the circle, and I just never seen a human being do that before. With us at court side, the steal by Wilkins. Wilkins. When Dominique was dunking, you hear the opponent screaming. Ah! <laughs> you had one on Bird when he jumped up to try to challenge it, and I throw it down. Right? I mean, he fouls me. You say, hey, Rook, I like you. You got heart. And it was like you almost murdered him. I, I, was, I was very angry that game. In-game dunking, particularly in traffic, those are the special. But who's the best in-game dunker? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. substitute to Knicks right there. It could be Jordan Laws, Lakers, Jordan Laws, Celtics, and everything else. Everywhere you go, you're, you're getting this kind of thing. Last night, your first appearance at the Garden. Michael Jordan puts on his show. And he has shot to start him already, although still in his first month as a professional. Nobody like him. Point blank. I've never seen nobody play like he plays. Moncrief tried to get it away, but broken up by Daly and gets it away to Jordan. Oh, no time for Mr. Jordan. You can fly, can't you? For Louis Because there's a whole generation of kids now who's going to swear by LeBron James. Because if you're watching LeBron James, it's hard to imagine that anyone was ever better than that. But kids, I'm here to tell you there was someone better than that. Jordan just rocked the cradle for his 10th point, and the Bucks are going to call time. Here's a kaboom. <laughs> I love it. You know, uh, you know, everyone's picking us to do somewhat bad, and uh, you know, it takes all the pressure off this team. Watch Gino get ready to hit it all the way down the court. With Michael going, maybe. Yep, oh, there it is. Michael Jordan on the breakaway. Everybody, get up! It's time to slam now. We got the real jam going down. 
Mention the teams Jordan went through, those Knicks especially. I mean, Mason, Oakley, Ewing. Man. Jordan's going to the hole against them. Oh, what a hole by Jordan! It counts. Oh, and the foul. You could say he had a problem. He was so competitive. His entire life just revolved around beating other people. That's how he measured himself. That's how he measured everyone he played with. And why did they call him the Black Cat? Because he was smooth. Gentlemen, welcome to Flight 23. It was a wrap for everyone in the league. Wow, she has to me some of the best in-game dunks that you will ever see in the league. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Vince Carter. from downtown this year 20 of the oh! Make it sound. 